Hello, and welcome to this brief run through of voxel meshes in Crater. A voxel mesh is a configuration of one or more types of voxels. If you've at all edited the terrain voxel mesh in Crater using the create mode, then you've already edited a voxel mesh. To create a new voxel mesh, click navigate to the voxel meshes section of the library, click create new asset, type the name of the voxel mesh you want to create, then select that voxel mesh. Add it to your game, and if you navigate over to it, you can use the voxel editing tools available both in basic mode and advanced mode to edit that voxel mesh. Notice that by editing a voxel mesh, you're editing the mesh itself, and then you can add multiple instances of that same voxel mesh. If I then make any edits to one of those voxel meshes, it will propagate to all of the voxel meshes. Really handy for very quick level, um, level design, adding things to your level quickly and efficiently. Once you're happy with your voxel mesh, you can use the move and rotate tools to move it and rotate it. So notice that it's separate from the terrain which is a really handy thing we can use to make things like these asteroid platforms over here, uh, space stations and things like that in the distance. And we can even use them to make almost our own level creation kits where you can see uh, by having pods and corridors joined together, I could make a composite structure which consists of multiple voxel meshes and design a level that way. Voxel meshes only include the voxel data. So by adding a mesh to one of these, for example, notice that the mesh isn't added to the other ones. The voxel meshes only consist of the voxel data. So any scripts, sounds, meshes, or anything like that that's added to them won't appear on all of them. For that, you need to use something called templates. Sometimes two voxel meshes might cause, uh, might have a bit of a problem where they overlap and they cause this flickering effect. To avoid that happening, you can simply turn off grid snap and then move that voxel mesh ever so slightly. The reason it was doing that is because these voxels are in exactly the same location and they're fighting to be rendered on top of each other. That, was, that concludes our brief run through of voxel meshes in Crater.